Welcome in tonight, Capricorn. <clears throat> I'm doing this reading on the 14th of January for mid-January for my lovely, lovely, sexy Capricorns out there. And sexy is the word I'm going to describe you by because when I get this intuitive message to you, this might resonate with you. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, wherever you have Capricorn in your chart, this is going to be a mid-January collective reading in love for advice on 33 okay so stay with me on this one this is the message that's coming in the high priestess is on the bottom of the deck after i shuffled it i'm gonna leave it there we're gonna go ahead and, and get another deck also out but the moon is entering cancer tonight at 11 p.m here in las vegas okay so it lets me know you're very in tune okay something changed here and the messages i wrote in was there's a feeling of ecstasy here right passion lust hidden things that are hidden right high priestess cancer pisces moon significant the most exciting challenging <clears throat> oh let me say this sex in the city is what i heard right could be that's what's taking place right now it could be that and I got this message from, let me say it again, Sex in the City, the series by Carrie Bradshaw, Bradshaw's quotes, can't talk, Mercury retrograde, right? And just like that, Capricorn, right? I can't even snap. And just like that, a shift comes where it changes everything. And the quotes I'm going to use are two of her very famous 60. There are 60 quotes, but we'll use two of them. One was the most exciting, challenging, and significant relationships of all is the one that you have with yourself. So you are stepping into that mysterious side of yourself here. Okay, you know what's taking place. The secrets that are taking place here, you know. Okay, you have a higher intuition that you're connecting with, a higher consciousness, Capricorn. Now you could be getting psychic help, psychic advice, or you are someone like me and you're a psychic, okay? So I feel you could be connecting to someone who is strongly, okay? And it feels like the next one I wanna tell you is, maybe the second quote is, maybe the past is like an anchor that holds us back. Do you see that Queen of Swords that I saw? Maybe the past is like an anchor that holds us back. Maybe you have to let go of who you were to become who you will be. Lovely matches. I got surprised by that Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here of significance. It's a time to step back here and reflect upon logic facts because you're very receptive right now okay you're a quick thinker you're very organized it feels like you're independent right now and i feel that you're about to tell it like it is you're about to spill the beans here okay you know something here is taking place is what i feel so queen of swords can be very cold very shady right now okay we'll leave it like that until I go ahead and start with the first energy. But I want to jump into the wisdom of the oracle here because we just got the presence of lovely divine wisdom and knowledge to join us, right? Let's leave that right there. So let's get some wisdom of the oracle to see what the change is that's here for you, okay? What is coming in in love in general for my lovely Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus out there, okay? Yep. Matching, number 16. All that glitters isn't gold, Capricorn. Someone here was wearing a mask in a situation, in a relationship here. And the masks have fallen down. You are revealed. You know you, that there's someone here that's very sneaky. There's something here that's going on and you have a higher wisdom that's coming into this reading telling me there is something here that's secretive. So... Let's get another card and we'll stop there, Spirit says. Higher power, yeah, definitely. 
you're stepping into a subconscious higher level up here. So you're someone here who's who's definitely a spiritualist, okay? You work with others here. You're someone here who could be a healer, a seer, a psychic, um, someone here who's definitely got that higher power. I'm talking to someone out there who's highly psychic. There is something here that's unfinished within you, like I just said, number 10. So 10 is a completion of a psycho, and it's time for you to break out of the box here. It feels like you have within you a symphony. For some of you, you're an artist, you're a creator, okay? Your business is very, in, you're very in tune with the energy around you. So you could be speaking through your music, through your books, through something here that you do, okay, Capricorn? So it feels like, again, once again, unfinished symphony. Maybe the past is like an anchor holding you back. Maybe all you have to do is let go of who you were to become who you will be. Very strong message that I got before I saw that. A time for balance. This is like Libra. There could be a Libra of significance. You could have this in your chart and get in touch with the yin energy. I just had yin card that came out for Aquarius. You could have Aquarius. You could check the beginning of that reading out. I do do a thorough message on yin and yang energy here. This is passive aggressive. It's like, think about the yin energy with yang. It's like a battery when on a car. Positive and negative, right? So positive and negative. What goes around comes around here. There's an energy here of ups and downs and needing a need for a balanced approach here. It's like someone here wants to right their wrongs here. And it's like blowing of the horns. Time to end a karmic cycle here, okay? Libra, justice is going to work in your favor. But it's... It's a time to balance your energies is what I feel. So let's see what's coming in. Okay, let's move that there and this here. And we're just going to go right from here, okay? I was guided to do so. So the top, the card on the bottom, oh my gosh. Scorpio, death card. Like I said, a major transition, a change within you. You're going through a major transformation right now. So this is like a rebirth, a renewal, releasing the old, the shedding the old skin, the own, your own skin here, because there is something here that you need to know you're ready to evolve. So I feel an energy where you're going through a major transformation. In the past three of cups here, okay, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, in the near future, six of wands, the challenge, four of cups right now, the advice, three of swords, we have three, three here, and in the possible income right now, seven of, cum, seven of cups, holy, like I said, someone could be having sex right now, please get out of here, let's get that sage. I, I'm picking up energetically, so let's just clear the space, clear the space. <clears throat> There's an intense, like I feel, somebody here is in ecstasy right now with the Seven of Cups, right? This is somebody here that has a lot of lust, a lot of passion. Okay, there's Seven of Cups here is, is a heavy Scorpio here, okay? Pisces and Neptune. Somebody here has a lot of options, a lot of choices, okay? This is like... um fantasy, illusion, look at that seven of cups, right? Although these are our dreams, our wishes. So someone here is having dreams with someone here, okay? They're, they're definitely fantasizing about you. There's a fantasizing energy here. Of somebody has sex on the mind here, okay? We're just going to leave that high priestess out there, all right? Just like this. In the past with these three of swords and the three of cups, there was definitely a situation where three is a crowd. Okay, there's a third party situation. And I feel the advice from the Holy Spirit is like, I feel you're drained. Somebody, you're drained, Three of Swords. You've went through a painful separation that bring in a heartbreak here. And it feels like you're ready, definitely. Like I feel you've been at a crossroads, but you're definitely ready to put that sword down because you can't even talk anymore. It feels like in the past, this could have been a friend of yours here that got involved in a third party situation. There was definitely friends, people around you here. Like I feel, these were people that you know. 
And it feels like there wasn't a fair. Three's a crowd, right? Somebody here that uh, got into that picture. Okay, six of wands is in the near future, Capricorn. This is gaining victory after this change that you're going through. It feels like you will be in the spotlight with the six of wands in the near future. It's going to take self-confidence. It's going to take um, passion. It's going to take... Um, definitely a fire energy like getting your self-confidence back regaining passion back in your life um, to take action to take the lead here it feels like this change that's coming in here will give you that self-confidence that you need spirit saying to have success and victory over the situation that you're going through right now capricorn i feel like you do have options we got the four cups to the seven of cups right and the Three of Cups is in between this. So a lot of emotions are in mid-January coming in here. And it feels like what the challenge is right now is there's something here that you're not open to. So you could be definitely um, going through the state here of revising, reviewing, trying to refine what it is, okay? Because there's contemplation, there's praying here. There's trying to gain your inner peace while you're going through these changes. There is a need to feel, to definitely healing, self-healing here. Be fair and just and gentle with yourself through the changes that you're going through here. That's why yin energy is coming in here. Balancing the energies is very important because you are awakening, okay? There's a major awakening and there will be a shift. There will be movement. With the eight of wands and I felt the chariot cancer access, so that's a Cancerian Capricorn. You could have North Node, South Node, and these signs here. But King of Wands is right on the bottom of this. This is that energy, like I'm saying here. It's like a, a, a passionate chemistry, biology to push you forward here. Fire energy. And it's like somebody here wants to reach out. Somebody here wants to come in. And you're feeling it. You know it. You know it. You could be dealing with a fire sign here of significance. So let's see what the, the death card is. Page of Wands, divine timing this year for this reward, Six of Wands. You're going through an ego death, and it's coming out a healthy ego for some of you. For some of you, you were dealing with someone here who was very arrogant, very rude, very abusive, very controlling, very toxic, right? Somebody here who's seen in the public eye, but when it, when it feels like you got stung here. So somebody here... Scorpion, you got stung here by somebody here who was very popular, very flirty, like I feel. Very sexy, this person here. They come in very lusty, very passionate. This is somebody that's looking for a good time, okay? Foolish, right? With the full energy. So somebody here definitely broke free from this, okay? There's a feeling here of somebody here um, is coming in. Could somebody be coming in? Yeah, somebody here is spying. So there could be rushing in here, energy of foolishness, risk-taking. Somebody's very risk-taking here. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. I feel you're dealing with somebody who is very risk-taking here. Yeah, two pages in between the six of wands. This person's definitely got somebody here with a delay, Pisces and Neptune. So it feels like there's a restriction here. Uh, could be in communication. It also feels like, let's see, there's three of cups in the past. Someone could be younger than you here, a younger fire sign or a younger air sign. In the past, this person came in, okay, in and out very quickly. Could have been an Aquarius here, strong air. Uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Knight of Swords, and three of cups confirming this was a third party situation. Okay, somebody here was very much the romantic. It was like... Um, romancing um, third-party situations, creating drama, um, not thinking first here, reckless, lashing out, somebody that's in and out of third-party situations. It feels like this person here has, um, it, it feels like, yeah, a lot of gossipers, a lot of people around this situation. It was like a family circle here, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like with this three of cups here, it's like a three ring circus is what I'm feeling. That's what I feel. We got three pages, no page of pentacles here. So you were dealing with three fools because these pages are, are young fools, foolish mistakes, right? 
or this person is that you're dealing with. Their friends, their community around them here are gossipers, right? And like these gossipers, if they gossip to you, they're gossiping about behind your back here. Somebody here, like there's a there's definitely a negative energy here of these waters in the past here with this aquarium. They weren't true and authentic with their true feelings of what was taking place here. Okay. Someone wasn't opening up here. So there was a lack of faith and discouragement in the past here with this person. The Six of Wands is Queen of Pentacles. There you are. Now you're showing up here. Now this transformation and change that you're making is because you knew this all along, Capricorn. You knew that there was definitely something fishy taking place here. I'm hearing Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. There could be a level here of you stressed out. A lot of anxiety about this person because there's a soulmate connection here, Two of Cups. For some of you, this is someone here, like I feel that you had a lot of hope and a lot of faith in this connection at one time, okay? And it feels like in the near future, there's something here that's going to put you in the spotlight. This person, I feel, is coming in. Someone that sees making progress in a situation. I feel you feel that there could be success here. You're feeling right now that you're doubting and Spirit says, don't doubt that. Queen of Pentacles is very um, down to earth. So it feels like you're making a down to earth decision now. You want commitment. You want stability. You want abundance. Six of Wands. You see victory in a situation with a Two of Cups, a soulmate connection coming back into alignment. But there's right now a lot of sleepless nights, intense anxiety over in January. You're worried if it's over. The World card is coming in to say there is something here that has completed. There's something here that you're getting to level up on. You're evolving is what I feel. With the world card, there could be someone here at a physical distance from you that's coming in. So the four of cups is, yeah, five of pentacles. A loss, a feeling of left out in the cold in the situation here, right? Chariot, no movement forward here. Cancer, energy of significance here. And this is the challenge, whether or not to move over, move over, look at this, move over from the devil energy. So there's a negative energy here. There's somebody that's very selfish, very greedy, okay? This is someone here that I feel is holding back finances. It feels like the challenge right now in the situation is somebody here is, is definitely in a toxic connection. This challenge or this obstacle is if someone can move it's, if somebody could take control of a toxic situation and there's praying, there's meditating, there's resting, there's recouping, right? There's looking at a situation here right now. If um, it's like you're trying to regain your inner peace, I feel through these changes here, but there is a huge change and you're hoping this person will change Capricorn. It feels like this is someone here who's facing a huge loss right now. Due to a lot of behavior, like I said, there's someone here that's very toxic, very controlling, very abusive, um, obsessions here. A lot of, a lot of us obsessions here, right? And this is, can they take that balancing of the yin and the yang, right, energy, and can they control these fetishes that they have, these obsessions that they have, okay? And move forward and be determined and take control of the energies here because this person right now is feeling left out in the cold. They're in five of pentacles. They're facing insecurities. They're facing worries, poverty, financial loss, right? Feeling left out. So that's what I feel. And there's a level of resistance here. Four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here that's not willing to open up in this situation. So three of swords is like, it's there. It's in black and white. Clarifying Holy Spirit's advice, third party situation, right? I feel like this is something that you are ending. There's an ending to a marriage here for some of you. There's someone here with higher Taurus energy. Yeah, this has um, family for some of you Capricorns. You are in a marriage with this person. You were in a commitment for some of you. Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Nine of Cups is a feeling of being good, satisfied, um, a feeling here where Spirit says 
you're finally reaching that level in your life where you're at a nine Capricorn. Like I said, in your emotions, it's like whatever had to have gone down here, whatever had to have happened, it's like you have this certain satisfaction that you are in your emotions, you're able to heal the situation with the Queen of Cups, okay? It's like being gentle and kind and compassionate with yourself now because it feels like you're opened up to self, you, self. And that's what this Cancer full moon is going to highlight to you, Capricorn. It's going to highlight knowing your worth. It's like, what do you believe in here? Because whatever this is, it feels like a broken separation, okay? A broken um, family situation here. And there's a lot of healing. So I feel like with the Queen of Cups, you're entering, whether you're a woman or a man, you're, you're getting in touch now with your emotions. It's like a healthy ego here, right? Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, water and earth to plant a new seed, right? A new seed. Seven of Cups is options, dreams. Queen of Swords, right? Somebody here, it wanted to come out reverse. So now I got Queen of Swords. You're dealing with a cold-hearted person here. Someone here that, that doesn't, like this person here, is trying to keep someone in a temporary illusion. See, they want to come out reversed. Someone's trying to keep somebody in a temporary um, illusion. And with the sun in reverse, there's a temporary depression, okay? There's a, there's a feeling of a lack of success. This is coming in. Somebody here is having a lack of success in the situation here, okay? That's been cut off, Seven of Cups, okay? Somebody's cutting this person off. I feel this is you, Capricorn. I feel that you're making a decision. They want to be in reverse. It's like overly emotioned, depressed here, um, and Ten of Pentacles. A family unit, okay? This is a family, a home. This is, this is somebody here that you could have that with. And it feels like there's a situation where you're going through a huge change right now. You're shifting, okay? And you might not have all the mental clarity during retrograde. You will get that. This is Empress feeling. This is like Venus coming into Capricorn retrograde and bringing out everything that needed to come to the open here. And this unfinished symphony here, like I said, you're in a huge transformation. We have three queens here right now, and the queen of wands is not here yet. And I was feeling that sexy energy. It's like I'm getting your confidence back is what I was feeling, right? The magician is here, Mercury. So Virgo, Gemini energy. Mercury retrograde is definitely a time for you to be very skillful, concentrating on your power of your mind, your thoughts that create, okay, the future that you see. A new beginning is here. It feels like a time for you to use the tools within you, Capricorn, here, and be very resourceful through these changes now. And it, that's what it feels like with the magician. It's like Mercury retrograde is when things, after a while, will move forward. It moves forward. There will be communication coming in. A swinging, sw not swinging, someone here was a swinger. Hello, I can't just, let me talk. You're going to take action. There's a swift, sudden change here, okay, of communication going back and forth, messages here. It feels like two of pentacles. There's things that are beginning to be going back and forth. It might catch you off balance. You might be working. You might be uh, managing, trying to prioritize things, trying to gain balance back, your adaptability. And I feel, boom, that's when the messages come in here, right? And something's about to work, right? Hermit energy, Virgo here. Something's about to work in your favor here, okay? Like I feel, justice is here at Libra, right behind us. It's time to reflect, self-reflect. It's time for silent treatment. It's time for being alone. It's time for soul-searching because you're going through a huge transformation. Capricorn is what I feel. For some of you here, you have strong Scorpio that you're significantly connecting to. Um, Capricorn... The, with the devil Saturn energy, I feel that's what the challenge is right now, is definitely knowing your morals, um, your self-respect is of key here in the matter because it does see this. I do see you coming in the near future with this queen of pentacles, queen of cups, right? So we'll see what's going on here.
coming in February. Sending you all tons of love and light, and thank you so much.